Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick how-to video. I did a video on how to use the Pentax 6x7 and I made a mistake on how to change the prism, the TTL prism, because there's a certain order or you'll break the little chain that sends the signal between the lens and the TTL. So basically, it's a very simple rule. Always change the prism with no lens. If there's a lens on, never touch it. Never put it on, never put it off. So basically, if I wanna now change the prism, I would have to remove the lens, leave it on the side, and then push the little two buttons and change it. Now I would get another prism or whatever I wanna do and then put it back on. So you'll see that there's a little chain up here. Let me see if I, you guys can see it. This chain should not be broken, which is not. And when I mount the lens, let me put on the lens, you'll see how that chain moves. Wait, sorry guys. It's hard to see things. There we go. You'll see how that chain moves. So you see how it moves? So that's how the chain should be. Of course, now if I put the prism and I change the lens, it would try to return and it could break it. It's a very sensitive little chain and it breaks very, very easily. So now that I've taken off the lens, I can put the TTL prism again. When you're putting on the TTL prism, do make sure that you have the same speed here. So if it says, whoop, 1 25th of a second, it has to say 1 25th of a second. You need this little ring, which can be a pain if you lose it. They sell them on eBay, they're like 40 bucks. So you put the little ring, there's no position to that. And you put your prism, here are the clicks. And then once you do that, you can grab your lens and put it back on. So that's the right way to put on and take off your TTL prism without breaking the chain securely. Uh, I'm sorry if in the previous how to use it was wrong. I'm gonna try to edit that video and post it again. If you have any doubts or you have a broken chain or anything like that, let me know. I do think there's a couple places that still repair it, but if it's broken, there's no problem. The camera still works. You just have to meter yourself externally, which I also recommend because the TTL prism is okay, but not the best. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. As I said, leave any comments if you have doubts. See you in the next one.